everyone welcome thank you for joining me in this video today so tonight I am cooking for my family usually it would be for everyone but two of my kids were sleeping at my mom's house this night so we just had the little guy with us and on this night I decided to make Greek lemon chicken and potatoes with Greek peas and carrots it's so good so yummy everyone loves it and it's a great way for them to eat peas and carrots myself included I don't care for peas but they are so good when they're cooked like this so I'm getting started with the potatoes because that's the most steps involved in making the potatoes so I'm getting started with them I'm just washing them and then I cut them into wedges I like to use uh, like Yukon gold yellow potatoes I just like the texture we like the texture of that better but you can use white potatoes like russet potatoes whatever potatoes and I just cut them into wedges if you don't like the skins you can take the skins off we don't mind the skins so I leave them on so um, here we go cutting potatoes Now I'm filling it up with hot water. I like to cut the potatoes and then fill the water onto the potatoes rather than get hot water boiling and then add the potatoes. Not only does it splatter and all that, but all the cooking shows over the years always say to add the water to the potatoes. Anyway, I'm gonna throw some salt in there. It just it helps the potatoes hold their shape. And I'm just gonna boil them for like eight minutes maybe. Uh, because they go in the oven so I'm not looking to really like cook them here really just I guess soften them a little bit I don't know it just it tastes better when you boil them first you don't have to you could totally skip the boiling and like season them later on how I season them but boiling them first is way better now we're moving on to the chicken I pulled out obviously a separate cutting board for that and I just butterfly them and then I cut them into strips, like tender, tenders, you know, like the strip shapes. I just, I like how they cook better. There's like no particular reason. Cut the chicken however you want. I've cut them into like nugget shapes before. I've left them whole just like this. I've just butterflied them and left them, you know, open and butterflied. Cut it however you like, and then we'll get to seasoning it. Right now I am just trying to gather all the ingredients and things that I know I'll need and you see me <laughs> standing there thinking do I have everything what else do I need okay I need to preheat the oven so usually when I roast stuff in the oven like this I do it at either 425 or 450 I don't remember what I preheated it there to, but it's one of those 425 or 450 either one is fine so I want to explain 
the lemonade. <laughs> Usually I would not use that, obviously, but I realized I only had one lemon left in the fridge and lemon chicken and lemon potatoes, like clearly you need a lot of lemon. And so I was so upset when I saw only one lemon. So I said, okay, let's do the lemonade, we'll try it. So I used the lemonade for the chicken because of the sugar in it. I figured I'd rather have the chicken be a little sweet than the potatoes. And then I used the lemon for the potatoes. Now I'm seasoning the chicken here with salt and pepper, and then a little bit of oregano, some dill and garlic powder, and then some olive oil. Yeah, pretty sure that's everything I put in there. And then, and then, well, and the lemonade. And you'll see me in a second here. I also forget in the video to put the lemonade. And then I remember. So I add in like a splash of lemonade. Maybe I did a half a cup or something like that. And then I just mix it all around. And I set it on the back counter behind me until the potatoes are ready to go in the oven. Because the potatoes have to cook the longest. So I wait and I put it all in together. See, there I am remembering the lemonade. There we go. Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for working on uh, the peas and carrots this is one whole chopped onion and I think that was maybe I don't know, four cloves of garlic four like average size cloves of garlic however much you like I could have added more I would have been fine with more but I use a red onion you could use a white onion yellow onion whatever onion you like I like using red onions so I'm getting this prep to get the peas and carrots started And if you see me looking away, talking, or looking like beyond the camera, I have a show going that I'm watching. And my husband was also hanging out in the kitchen with me while I was cooking. So now we're back to the potatoes. I drain them, I put them back in the pot so the liquid evaporates. And while that happens, I get going with the peas and carrots. So this is just a pan. I heated up some olive oil. I'm adding the onions and the garlic, and I just stir it a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I just stir it around for a couple minutes, just a couple minutes so everything can soften, nothing major. to the taters now so you see they held their shape they're soft but they held their shape they didn't like fall apart in the water so that's what we want um, ideally you'd want to do this in a bowl and you'll see why in a minute but I liberally salt them because potatoes just suck up so much salt and then pepper and then I do some oregano and garlic powder on this. I don't put any dill on the potatoes. So I just do the oregano, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then lots of extra virgin olive oil. And then 
I get my one lone lemon there and squeeze that in. Ideally, I would do two, sometimes even three lemons. The potatoes are so good when they're super lemony. So they were good this night, but they definitely, they could have been lemonier. Anyway, so now you see I burned my hands. So I should have done this in a bowl where I could have used a spoon to toss it around. So here I am deciding what I need to do. Do I want to dump it in a bowl now? No, I decide to do this and I ripped the parchment paper underneath and whatever, but I got it done. And then I sat there and just tried to flip each potato so they were like facing up. So the skins were laying in the olive oil seasoning mixture and tried to get them in one even layer. And then once I did that, I put them in the oven along with the chicken. Back to the peas and carrots. I am adding some dill and I'm generous with the dill. So I think that's like a two teaspoon measure. So that's over a tablespoon, like a tablespoon and a half of dill weed and it's dried. And I also used it dried on the chicken earlier. So all the herbs are dried, but you could use fresh dill too. That would totally work. So I add the dill in there and I'm gonna add a small can of tomato sauce. You could do some tomato paste too, and then once the liquid goes in from the peas and carrots, that'll be fine. Uh, but I like using this little can of tomato sauce. And then I stir that around a little bit. You'll see it changes color a little bit. I just kind of let those flavors just kind of meld together a little bit before adding the peas and carrots. And then I also add maybe for half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. And then you see me cut open the, can, the cans of peas and carrots. Now I use canned peas and carrots because they just come out the best. But if you wanna use fresh peas and chop some fresh carrots or frozen peas and carrots, I've done it with frozen peas and carrots, it comes out great too. Um, but for me, I just think, and I, the, and I know like canned vegetables, they're like not appetizing generally, but the canned peas and carrots just come out so much better. So I add one can with its liquid and then the second can I drain. And that gives you the perfect amount of liquid that you need in here. And then I just like I bring it back up to a little boil and then I turn it down to low and cover it. And I just let it simmer and cook the whole time that the potatoes and chicken are in the oven. This is when I start cleaning. So now everything's in the oven, the vegetables are simmering on the stove. So now, usually if this was a school night, I'd go, we'd start, you know, we'd be working on homework or whatever, but that now I just clean up the dishes that are here and then I hang out with the family. Now, a, something I wanna point out that I didn't say in the beginning of the video is I always start with a clean kitchen. And I think I said it in a video previously, I can't go and cook a meal in a dirty kitchen. So I have to clean the kitchen and make sure it's super clean before I start cooking. I feel like it makes the cooking process more enjoyable. So because I do that, it's much easier to clean as I go. So the pot that I cook the potatoes in, I can already get it clean and get all this stuff cleaned up. So that way after we eat, it's just the, the few dishes with the food in it and then the plates that we eat off of. It's not a crazy amount of dishes to have to do. So I definitely love cleaning up while I'm cooking to save me some time after because usually after dinner, that's it. Like I'm done for the day.
This food stayed in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes, but you know it's ready when the chicken has some color and the potatoes are slightly crisp on the outside, but still super soft. So this is me getting my son's plate ready. He really does enjoy these peas and carrots. Just give him a few of the potatoes. He likes to eat them like french fries and then cut up the chicken for him. Sometimes we try to be cool not being givers, only takers Stop for a minute, stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head, try to listen instead, won't you? Think for a minute, who you wanna be for a minute Don't get over your head, you're like everyone Let's see if the little guy likes it. If you see, he puts his arm up, he shows his muscles because he relates eating food and his veggies to growing big muscles. So, and he loves this. He loves the peas and carrots. He was super shy in the camera, but, oh, look at him, my little boy. So now we'll make my husband's plate and he does the same thing. They show muscles when they're about to eat. And yeah, we enjoyed this meal very much. It came out super delicious. I highly recommend, definitely recommend if you wanna get some veggies in, try cooking these, this side dish. It comes out so delicious. Sometimes we yell when we're sad And sometimes we laugh when we're afraid Sometimes we smile when we're mad And sometimes And we're back to cleaning. So here's my son's plate. You could see he ate a good amount of everything. He ate all his chicken, two of the potatoes, and majority of his peas and carrots. So what I do here is I take his leftovers on the plate, and if I have to add a little more, I will, which is what I'm doing here with the potato. And I just cut everything up and I put it in this dish by itself because I'll put this in his lunch the next day. So I have it ready for in the morning to just heat up and put in his thermos. And then I put all the leftovers away. What I did here is I grabbed two mason jars. My husband and I had to work the next day. So I put one for him and one for myself. And this is what we take to work to heat up for lunch the next day. And it works great because um, you can eat out of it and microwave it and the whole thing right in the one dish and then just put the top back on and bring it home to clean. So it worked out really well.
almost done cleaning up the kitchen. I think this footage was a total of like 12 or 15 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, it took me to clean all this after. So it definitely helps when you start with a clean kitchen and clean while you cook. Um, I also wanted to mention that I like to clean the kitchen every night. I like to know what I'm gonna pack for lunches the next day. I like to make sure lunch boxes are clean and i just love waking up to a clean kitchen i feel like it just sets you up for success the next day um, you wake up and you start the day in a much better mood i know when i wake up in the mornings if the kitchen is messy or dirty in any way it really starts my day off on the wrong foot so i think taking the time to just clean the kitchen in the evenings and get it ready for the next day really makes such a big impact on that day so I'll take out the trash I mean I take it out of the thing my husband will take it outside but I take it out I put a fresh bag in there so we don't have like nasty trash sitting overnight um, and I just I do these things every night and it really just helps me the next day so I definitely encourage you to do the same thing and yeah that's it here's a view of my kitchen when I turn the lights off and we go wind down but I flick the lights on again so you can kind of see it um, all nice and clean with the lights on but until the next video um, and I want to thank you guys of course for watching and if you've made it this far thank you so much uh, consider subscribing and liking this video if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time bye to all this thing when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh, I'm